Good morning students. Welcome to the Narayana live classes. Today we are going to discuss assignment 7 of 7th class. From the lesson reproduction in plants. The topic is introduction thalamus, calyx, corolla, androsium, gynosium. This assignment consists of 6 choose the correct answers and 2 short answer questions. Let us see what are the questions and their answers. The first choose the correct answer is dash are usually the most attractive parts of any plant. So which part mostly attract us towards the plant means that is nothing but flower. So option C flower. Yes. The solid head of the flower stack is called flower stack. Suppose uh, this is the stack. The solid head. This is called so solid head. It is called it is called thalamus. Okay, swollen head of the flower stack is called thalamus. Yes. The edges of the part towards the petals have thin leaf like structures called leaf like structures. Thin leaf like structures called sepals. Okay. Outside the petals, there is a sepals. Okay, right. Next, corolla is formed of fused petals. Corolla is formed by Fused petals, option B. Then calyx is formed by fused sepals in Tatra flower. Right? Now, next question. Fifth question. There is a bulb like structure at the top of each stamen is called. Suppose here, this is the stamen. So, yes, this is a bulb like structure. This is called stigma. This is called stigma. A. Right. Flower parts are arranged in definite circles or what are those called holes they are called holes option c okay circles are holes now it is time for a discussion of short answer questions define the terms androsium gynosium androsium means androsium all the stamens present in the flower together called male part or androsium Okay, androsium. All the stamens in a flower, in a flower, together called androsium. Together called androsium. And what is gynosium? Gynosium means all the parts present in the pistil. That means, for example, I am showing here, this is the part of a pistil. Yes, this is together called pistil. This is wavari. Wavari consists of ovules. Ovules. And this one is a style. And this one is stigma. Stigma, style. Okay, right. These three parts, are, this is wavari. These three parts together called, that means all the parts, all the parts present in pistil present in pistil together called together called uh, androsium what is the uh, sorry what is that gynosium together called gynosium all the parts these all together called gynosium are female part Next, last question. Draw a neat label diagram of Dathra flower. Now, let us see. I will show you how to draw Dathra flower with easy steps. Okay. First, you have to draw like this. And this, this one is a base for a flower. All the floral parts are arranged on it. All the floral parts are arranged. This one is what we call petals. Okay. Right. And here, first I am going to draw here female reproductive part that is called pistil or gynosium. So here see what are those? Here are some ovules. Ovules are present inside the body. And also there are male reproductive part called uh, what we call them? They are called stamens. They are called stamens or otherwise called androsium. So now let us write parts. This one is pedicel. Okay. Cell, right? This one is a thalamus, thalamus, 
and these are green color structures called calyx or otherwise called sepals and these are attractive structures they are called petals or corolla petals or corolla right and next coming to stamens male reproductive parts so anther and filament together called stamen okay right this one is a female part female reproductive part so this all together this one is a stigma stigma and this long structure tubular structure is a style and here ovule like structure this is ovary inside the ovary there are ovules okay so this is the uh, diagram of the flower this is the key of today's session on my dear children thank you